Okay guys, so when we get that arm across, I'm gonna give you a few options here. Okay. So we've got an underhook here. Went and got it. Okay, got into this right here. And so many people try to finish this and then they give it away. So this time we're just gonna put this on and we're gonna let Tad kind of clear it himself, okay? If you feel like you can't get it across, I guess I should go ahead and add this, guys. I'm going to squeeze my knees together and I'm gonna turn my hips this way, okay? I'm gonna push Tad away and I'm gonna take my head and let my head start to straighten the arm here, okay? So now Tad, you see is bending. So I'm gonna actually put some pressure on this thing and then he's gonna start moving to where this is a problem. And then it's much easier to pop that thing across, right? Okay, so after we've got this popped across here, okay, we're gonna sit up and we're gonna grab the shoulder, okay? From closed guard here, what we're gonna do, turn me this way just a little bit. Okay, about right there, be all right. Okay, so guys, from this position, there's tons of options and tons of things you can do, but the fight is far from over here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull Tad to me. I want him to feel like I'm going to do a flower sweep of some sort. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna crunch at the shoulder and the chest here, and I'm going to grab that hand and get it into a Kimura trap position, okay? So I'm gonna be here, we're gonna grab this, and then switch to a Kimura. All we did was remove this from the shoulder, okay? Take this across, grab here and here, okay? If Tad doesn't want me to get it, okay, go ahead. All I'm gonna do, guys, is lift my elbow, okay? So if I'm here, I'm lifting my elbow, taking my head in front of his face, and then I can grab a hold of this, okay? If he pops his head out, okay, I'm going to just lock up the Kimura, and we're going to push and get our chest on top of it, okay? After we get it on top of it, I just open up my elbow and get it back around his head, okay? Like a plastic bag, okay? In the serial killer movies, right? You take it and go over the head. Same thing, or in Mount Vernon, all right? So around the head, here. Okay, from here, guys, we have tons and tons of options, okay? We'll do a couple here. First, we're just gonna do a back take. Okay, so Ted, give me what you would do. He's gonna start driving into me. Okay, guys, so I'm going to start to push away and keep climbing and climbing and climbing until we're here close to the back, okay? So now that we are on the back, at any time, guys, I can switch my grip and grab the hand and I can switch this hand to underneath his throat for a choke, okay? So keep in mind that you can do that at almost any time. Don't be too high and fall off, okay? But keep in mind that you can do that when you're trying to scoot. Also, if, if Tad's hips start to get in front of me, just get away, okay? I don't, wanna, I don't wanna feel like I'm lost if I can't get my right hip out. If you're having trouble with that, what I want you to do is I want you to turn your leg down and put all of your weight on the inside of your knee. So it would look like this and turn over on that, okay? So, here, put all your weight here. If Tad pops his head out, if that's what you're thinking, I just push it back down, pop your head out. Okay, I just push it back down and start to get on the back again. At any time, guys, we can reach back around and grab that plastic bag type choke come more grip here, okay? So from there, we're just gonna keep climbing, keep climbing. Okay, until we can get the hooks in our feet on his legs, and then we're going to push them away and scoot ourselves back. Okay, so one more time. He's here. He's up on his knees. My feet are going to come in. Say he knocks me off. Like, swim me off. I'm here. No problem. I'm just pushing him away, climbing again, getting my feet on his hips, using my toes, pushing his hips away, and getting back on the back, okay? So anytime you're off to the side here and you feel like you're gonna fall off, you can't let him step over, okay? This can be a problem. We can still win this battle, but as long as you're up here, you keep pushing them away, okay? Keep climbing, pushing here, like I'm flexing my triceps, I'm pulling on his arm, okay? I'm gonna get my feet in his hips, push his hips away, back up 
and get on his back, okay? This is just a constant, constant motion where I'm going after this and not letting him out. The head pops out, okay? We just keep this. Just do what you do. He's gonna be trying to do that. I just get my hips back on top, okay? Hook the head again, okay? You just keep this grip tight, guys. It's a very, very, very safe grip. And all we did, remember, was from that crossover is we reached around and grabbed the arm, okay? If you're having trouble again getting to that arm, we're gonna crunch, okay? Start to turn like we're gonna do the sweep, and then it's gonna be just right there every single time, okay? So good Kimura grip here to get to the back, push him away, and have complete control from him in the closed guard, okay?